Hello, welcome back to my channel and we are up to part, I believe it's part four of the Junk Journal Project with me, January um, Junk Journal Project and we are doing the Vintage Music and Roses Kit. This is how far we've gotten. We have, I cannot see the screen on my phone very well today so I hope I'm in frame. I think it's the lighting. All right. Um, Anyway, we've done our cover, and we've put in our pages, and we've copy dyed our pages. We've made and attached our tassel. So today we're going to be talking about making layered tags to put into our journal. So if you purchased the kit, you received three tags that look something like this. If you're making it and you hadn't purchased the kit, you could use any tags that you either make yourself or, you know, whatever. So what we're going to do is take, also if you purchased the kit, you should have received a little music punch out. Um, this is from the 1930s sheet music. And then an assortment of, um, what are these called? Pieces of ephemera and different uh, scraps and things like that that you can use for layering. There is no right way or wrong way to do this. It is just totally up to you. A couple of extra supplies that might be handy to have would be ink. I have a gold and a dark green, a pair of scissors, and some kind of glue or adhesive. I really prefer a glue stick. And I've been trying out this Scotch Create permanent glue stick, and it's about $2 at Walmart. Anywhere else I've seen it is expensive, but I think it's $1.97. Um, and I really like it. I think it works excellent. My only complaint with it, and it's not really a complaint because it does show how um, strong the glue is. I'm messy with my glue sticks, and when I get it here around the edge and I just put the top back on, um, it gets a little hard to push it all the way in or pull it off because that glue is already trying to bond. But enough about glue sticks. <laughs> okay, so we have three tags, and we just have a bunch of goodies. So um, when we're layering tags, a couple things you want to think about. Well, first, uh, a lesson I learned from Jessica over I'm a Cool Mom is not to overthink it. That being said, um, you don't want to underthink it. There's a couple of things that you can keep in mind, and that is like texture, color, placement, but don't overfocus on it. So we're going to just grab one tag here. In my pile of stuff, I have um, some dictionary paper. You may or may not, you know, have one or all of these. And there's a lot of background noise. My three-year-old is deciding to do sound effects. So, and then I just put the glue stick. You can use like a collage medium or a Mod Podge or something like that. I'm not going to do that. Um, I find that this glue stick works quite well. And you're just going to start building up your layers. In my kit here, I have this mini bingo card. And, you know, if you've purchased a kit, you've received all different little scraps. If you did not and you're trying to make it um, and you want the kit, there's still kits available. And because later today, I will be releasing the kit for February, which is super exciting. There'll be an extra video today about that. Um, I'm going to be reducing the price on the leftover kits and they, there's no coupon code or anything needed. Just head over if you are wanting to pick one up. They are reduced and I do have good news in that, um, my December kits have all been sold out. All of them have been sold out and I'm not making any more of the familiar flowers kits. It's good news for me. It might be bad news for you, but I don't like to have too many open kits going at once. So, um, here I'm just adding a little bird from this, this little, um, page here, this book page, teeny tiny book page. And there's a nest on this side that I think I'm going to cut out as well. So all I'm doing is just layering. I'm covering the background with bits and pieces of paper. This is kind of one of my new favorite things to do. I'm not very good at it. So I feel kind of awkward teaching it to you since I'm sure most of you are much better at this than I am. So just do your own thing. But I'm just kind of giving an idea of you know, some of the things that you can do. So talking about, I was mentioning about um, the kits. So the new kit will be listed later today so that we can get the February um, dates all squared away 
but I still have some of the January left. So if you were wanting to get one and you hadn't gotten one yet, get them before they're gone at the reduced price. So enough of the sales pitch. Let's keep keep crafting. Okay, so since I ripped this piece of paper, and I hope I'm not getting out of frame, guys, and there's too much white on it. It has like a white core. For me, I'm taking my gold ink pad, and I'm just kind of inking the edges so it's not such a stark white. I sure hope that I am in center. There we go. It's one of those things. I don't know why my phone is. I think it's just the glare of the light on it. Normally, I can see what I'm doing in frame. All right. So that you can stop um, adding and building to it whenever you want. Um, like I said, there's no right or wrong way. I'm just cutting this little flower out of this scrap of paper here. Oh, so much background noise. So much background noise. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not, but I can hear him. He's going, making lots of noise. And he waits until I start the video. I don't I don't know why he does that. It's pretty funny. I don't think he even realizes he's doing it. I think it's just a little kid thing. Just cutting up a strip with some of this heart paper here. It's a great way to use up your scraps, to be creative, and to play. I found the more that I do stuff like this, the better eye I have for it. Um, I'm not, you know, super great at it or anything. There's also some pieces of ephemera that were included in the kit. So if there were any pieces or parts of those that you liked, you could put on it. However, I want to leave these intact for later. I have this little piece of music here that I would love to add since this is a vintage music kit. All right. And I'm just, see, I'm just building up the background little by little here. And now I'm just going to probably get a couple pieces to fill in. See, I have a little bit of background tag here. So I'm going to just rip, excuse me, this corner <clears throat> off right there and cover that. And then I'm going to see, um, I have a little bit right here. I don't want to cut up my leaf. I have some like pinstriped pink paper here that might go well for that. So just cut up bits and pieces and play. Have fun. Just glue them all on your tags. This is 110 pound cardstock, the tags that are included in your kit. So they're, you know, quite heavy and they're going to be able to take a lot of what you throw on it. Okay, and so then I have this area up here. I don't know what I want to put there. I'm just looking through my pieces. I think I want a little more of um, this paper, maybe another one of these flowers that'll kind of tie it together. So now I've pretty, whoop, loose. I've pretty much covered the background except for the top. So what I'm going to do with that is take a piece of my scrap and my glue stick and I'm just going to glue over. I hope I'm still in frame. Okay. I'm going to just glue over all of that. I've got a big glob. All right. And then I'm going to. Hold on. I'm going, I want to use this paper here, so I'm just going to, oh, I don't think that's what I wanted to do. Yeah, I guess it is. Why not? No, it really isn't. I wanted this side up. Sometimes I get backwards like that. I don't know what side up or down I want. All right, so I want it like that, and then if I flip it over, I can just cut around the tag like so. When I finish cutting this out, I'm just going to ink the edges up and this will be our 
first tag completed and then I'll show you some quicker easier ways if you don't want to collage everything and then you can just punch a hole get your hole punch and punch that right out I'm not going to do that right now I'm going to take my green because I think that's really going to show up and I'm going to do that right there go so there's tag number one. I love the collage element to it. But that did take a while to piece it all together. So what you can also do is look through the pieces of ephemera that you got and find one that you like. I like this rose here. Everybody got the same um, pieces of ephemera in the kit. So you can use the same one I am or if there's another one that you liked better. The pieces of ephemera are printed on um, presentation paper. They're not as thick, and I'm going to be showing you in another video how we can reinforce those for making journaling cards and things like that. Uh, this is another way, obviously, to reinforce it. I'm going to take my green again and just ink the edges so that it really stands out on the tag. And then I'm going to take my glue stick and glue. And what I can do as well, I should have done that first because this glue is going to dry. Um, I can get a backing paper. We'll do that this way. Okay. And I can place it on the backing paper instead of on the tag. And then you've seen me do this lots of times. It really adds lots of texture. Just kind of rip around it and leave that ripped look. I'm having a hard time staying in frame today, guys. I apologize because I really can't see my screen today. All right. There we go. And then again, take my ink ink up those ripped edges, take my glue stick for the second time and glue all around it and place it in the middle of the tag. And since I made your tags, if you bought the kit, I made them in an ivory color. You don't have any stark white. So this works very well and very simply. So now we have our layered tag our slightly less involved layered tag. And let's do one more. We're going to use our vintage music piece here. Um, and I'm gonna use gold just very lightly on the edges so that it doesn't take away from how old it is or how much I like it, okay? And then this one is just going to be a very simple tag because it's going to be understated and don't, if you've heard me say it on videos before, um, don't underestimate the power of understatement. Sometimes we don't want 100 pieces on every item in our journal. So this one is just going to be very simple. And since we, we're going to want it um, to coordinate, do I want green on the edges? No, I'm going to stick with the gold just to keep with the whole understated theme. And I'm very lightly going to brush these edges with gold and then I'm not going to do anything else to this tag. So we have three layer, three, not three layers, but three levels. We have a very highly layered and embellished tag and you could add buttons or sequins or pieces of lace or other things to it as well. It's fun to touch. It's got lots of texture. Then we have a more simple, but still there, there's a huge picture on it. There's a lot to look at. And then we have a very simple understated, yet they all go together very well and they will all coordinate in our journal beautifully. Now, if in your kit, um, this kit did not come with paper clips, that was not part of the kit. So you can either use these as bookmarks in one of the pages like that. And you could add lace or ribbon or something to the top if you wanted to. Or if you have paper clips, you can paper clip them. You can also glue them on the page as part of an embellishment, um, you know, on the back sides of these copy paper, coffee dyed pages, you could glue a tag on or just glue to, am I in frame? <laughs> glue two of the edges so that you could tuck something else in there. So that's our video on layered tags today. And the next one coming up, I believe, is on drawing music notes and about adding your own touches to the journal and how to draw some music notes and music symbols and things like that that will really add your own hand and uh, extra special touch to the journals. So until next time, have a wonderful day.